Hello and welcome back to my studio. I'm in the office today because the studio is a hot mess. However, this video today is all about how many hours a week you should be working on your photography to be a professional photographer. Now, this isn't sort of the 10,000 hour rule. This is literally Monday to Friday. What should you be doing? How should you be fitting it in? Now, photography as a whole is such a, a broad sort of spectrum of genres of work and styles of work. So this isn't a hard and fast rule. This isn't what you should be doing by the hour. However, by all means, copy my work schedule, copy my workflow, copy what I do, because it is working for me at the moment, which I'm very grateful for. Um, I've had work schedules in the past that really haven't worked, but this one really does work. This is also coming from the perspective of a person in the UK, I am 35 years of age, I am a stepfather with three young kids, one of them has some additional needs, who needs extra help. I have a partner I live with, you know, I have a cat, as I'm sure you're aware, hence all the, the weird stuff stuck on my shirt. But these things all have an impact on how I work, and I found that a lot of these videos online show you how a single person goes about life, which is very different because they don't have the same commitments, and having done both, I've seen them both for their pros and cons on both sides in terms of work and in terms of personal enjoyment. But also, having less time doesn't mean you can't get it done. I actually get more done now than when I was single. Now, our work week sort of revolves around the children for the most part. Um, I do the school runs in the morning, my partner does them in the evening, apart from every other Monday when I go there after they've been to their dad's and I do that pickup. Um, I did it once and the youngest one he likes a routine, so now I always do it. Um, so every other Monday I'm on the school run. Yesterday was that every other Monday, so I was on the school run. So let's look at the week. I've popped it all on a whiteboard with an hour by hour sort of thing. I wake up at seven, I go to bed at 11, pretty boring like that, that's my life. I used to get up at five and go to bed at nine, but it doesn't work with our current system. So I've adapted my body clock. I'm absolutely shattered. Don't do it if you don't have to. So Monday mornings, I get up, I get the youngest one ready, get his routine going, do his breakfast. He has the same things every day, same order. I enjoy it too because I also like the same order every day. I then do the school run, the school's next to my studio, so I drop the kids off at school, then Moggy and I hop back in the car, drive to the studio, and we're here for pretty much two minutes to nine. Don't know why it's always so accurate, but it is. And Monday is Marketing Monday, and if you want to know more about my Marketing Mondays, I have a workshop coming up on that, which is an online one, so you can pretty much download it from anywhere in the world, I assume. Um, I'll pop a link to that in the description. I'll be going through everything I do. I could spend a day talking about my Marketing Monday. Um, it is something I've neglected in the past and honestly, I'm an idiot for doing it because the difference it has in my income is huge. I hate it, it's boring, it is not for me, but it has to be done. And with it being on a Monday, it means that every other Monday, I have to stop working at two o'clock. So it's only bad every other week. I go get the kids, do family time. I did a barbecue for everyone yesterday hang out with them, play with them, play iPads with them, so I like doing that, chase them around the garden, play on the trampoline, and then I put them to bed, or at least the youngest one, the eldest, they're, they're quite capable. Um, after putting them to bed, I go downstairs and I do an hour's emailing, I always do my emailing at the end of the day, never at the start. I then have a couple of hours of watching mind-numbing TV. The more mind-numbing, the better, because I'm usually pretty exhausted by this point, and then I crash out and go to bed. I'm normally asleep within 30 seconds. My girlfriend finds it hilarious. Tuesday, which is today, same sort of morning routine. Then I came to the studio, did some portfolio reviews. That's not something I do every time on a Tuesday. It's just if I have a, a lot of portfolio review bookings, I'll do them all then. Um, and if not, I'll do something else. You know, it's not a hard sort of fast rule. It's not like being employed by someone where you have to do this at this time. What you do have to do though, is juggle these things around and prioritize them. I've then got a couple of hours of YouTube, which is what I'm doing here because on Sunday, I was shooting a bike race for a friend of mine because he was organized when he needed a photographer and he asked me to do it and I said yes. Um, so that Sunday work has now moved into this time slot here. I don't normally do YouTube during the week, but here we are. After this, I've got to go and do the shop for the shoot on Wednesday and Thursday that I have coming up. And then I have to do some pre-production work for a commercial job coming up in the future. So that's my sort of day. Then I've got a few hours of ferrying children back and forth to beavers, cubs, and brownies. Brownies, not brownies, scouts, there we go. And that finishes at about 9 p.m. I get home about 9.15, do some emails, crash outs. Now Wednesday and Thursday are both running similar days. They're both test shoot days, which had been planned last week. And that was actually planned last week during the marketing Monday, so we saw the heat wave coming up and we had this idea that I had, which came about having dead time. And when I say dead time, 
I used to do all my Instagram posts when I was in the back of an Uber, but then I learned to drive, so I lost that dead time. But now I have dead time and I'm waiting to pick up children. I'm normally there 10, 15 minutes early. And those 10 to 15 minutes are time when I can't do anything and I refuse to use my phone, sort of sit there and just nothing. Um, it's not meditation, it's not thought, it's nothing like that. It's just I sit and do nothing. And within that time, ideas just pop up into my head and that's sort of me, I guess, processing my life over the last week. And those ideas become my test shoots. So I saw a child at some point holding an ice cream outside an ice cream van with it melting down his arm. And there we have a test shoot. So that's Thursday, uh, Wednesday and Thursday even. And they'll be running a bit later in the day. I'll get home, do bedtime. I always make sure I'm home for bedtime with the kids if I don't have a paying client in, unless there's a real good reason not to be. Then I do some emails, a bit of TV, Netflix, currently watching zombie films, and then go to bed. Now Friday I'm going to be running a bit of a shorter day because I have some stuff at the house to do. And this is the sort of thing that other people don't let on that you have to get sorted. We've got a kid's birthday party on Saturday. Things need to be done. Stuff needs to be moved. Dangerous things need to be taken out of the garden so no one impales himself on it. So I'll be finishing early. So I'll do my office work in the day, sort the editing out from the previous days. And I'll start to plan my e-shots, get on bikini lists, see who's, which um, ad agencies are working on which contracts at the moment. All of that sort of spying and stuff which I'll be covering in my marketing workshop and I'll probably do some YouTube videos as well so do hit subscribe if you want to see that or if you have any questions about the sort of marketing and working out who's who and what's what drop them in the comments below and I'll try and get back to you um, but yeah finish early spend some time with the family do some emails late at night get an early night because the following day we have children coming to their garden to have a birthday party um, unless Boris Johnson changes his mind in the meantime Saturday is a full day with the family, nothing else, no work, won't touch my phone, won't check my emails, I won't even answer my phone. I have my phone set to this thing so that only certain numbers can contact me when it's on Do Not Disturb, and I leave it like that because otherwise I'm prone to distraction for work. Now Sunday is Father's Day in the UK, so I'm dropping the kids off at their dad's house at 10 o'clock in the morning. And then for the rest of the day, I'll be coming here and I'll be doing the YouTube videos for the following few weeks because the next weekend I think we have them back again and then I won't be doing YouTube videos then. So I have to make sure I've thought that, that sort of process through and allow myself the time to be able to spend time with the family while still doing work. Now, this entire working week, which is pretty average for me, this one here is, is 50 hours. That's pretty standard. Now, 50 hours compared to working your average employee job where you're just employed by a company, you go to an office and do your Monday to Friday, that is quite a lot. That'll be seen as a very heavy overtime week. This, however, is a light week. A shooting week will be 70 to 80, and I have unfortunately gone far higher with naps in the studio in between doing stuff. Um, but yeah, your average week like this is 50 hours of that, and I have 50 hours of free and family time. And that's my 100 hour week. And unfortunately, when life does get busy and money is coming in, and I have to focus on that money because in photography, it's feast and famine. You're either doing nothing and sat around like I'm this week, or you're working so hard for money that you just go, do you know what? I'm really sorry, but I'm going to have to let things slip. And being able to do that and balance that is very important. So what's the point in this video? Well, if you're looking at photography for a side hustle where you do 30 hours a week and make an okay living, that's probably not gonna happen for you. In order to be competitive, even to make an okay living, you're gonna have to put in 50 hours a week minimum. To make a really good living as a top commercial photographer, years leading up to this point here where I am now, I was doing more than 50 hours a week on and off week. I was working like a dog. Because as well as all the work I was doing, I was also learning and educating myself. And, you know, I still do that to a certain degree, but it's far less. I probably only spend two hours a week learning at the moment, which is really bad, but I've got some new things I want to learn, which is gonna, you know, bolster that a little bit. But that's where we are, that's where I am. This is what I think a working week probably averagely looks like across the UK. If yours looks different though, let me know in the comments below. If you could do me a Monday to Friday breakdown or Monday to Sunday breakdown, that'd be great. It'd be really interesting to see what it is that you guys get up to as photographers. Anyway, I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.